Hey, this is Rick with Shooter1721. <laughs> like, what do you got going on here? I don't know, Ryan. What what, what do we got here? Oh, I just Something. I got it in frame. I had to move the camera back. I was going to say, did you get all this in frame? I, I do. All right. What you got here is the AEA Zeus 72 caliber. That's right. I said 72 caliber. All right. A lot of gun right here. A lot of bang for the buck. No pun intended there. 650 cc air tube on here seven millimeter you fill it right here so what you're doing is using a seven millimeter fill probe you fill it to 4500 the barrel's 32 inches long and then you can see we got the johnny fl great commie on here and we got something special we got black arch design david thank you so much this barrel band here if you're going to get the commie if you're going to get the commie and you're going to suppress this gun you get this that is so important because you'll have barrel droop if you don't, if you put the commie on. The way the threading is here, listen, it is a must. So if you're planning on suppressing it, go this direction, see that guy, no doubt about it. Beautiful wood stock, 12 pounds, dovetail on top. And we're using the Optison, I think, what do I, what do I put on here? Oh, this is the 4 to 16. I had to take a peek there. I didn't remember if we had the 6 to 24 or the 4 to 16. Optison 4 to 16 on here has plenty of mills here for this gun. But today, in today's video, we're going to do a, a bunch of things for you. We're going to show you a 50-yard group with the 440s. We're going to do a lot of shooting with that. We did shoot some ballistics gel. We'll show you some of that. We shot some 810 grains that we had uh, from Mr. Hollow Point into ballistics gel, and you're going to see how far they penetrate into the gel. And um, we might do some long-range stuff. We might go to 100 then, maybe a little further. You know, maybe I'll go a little further. We'll see what we come up with. Because when we get to shooting something like this and having that much fun, who knows what's going to happen. You know what? That's enough of me talking. You want to see us shoot this. Ryan, you ready? Let's do it. Woo! All right. Uh, Mr. Hollow Point, 440 grain, uh, 4,500 fill out of the Zeus. Let's see if we get a number here. There you go. 1066 that's about right what we get at home we got 185 at home good shot two man that is power thousand feet per second with a 440 grain Shot three. I don't care, 950 is amazing. Still. Still amazing. Still, not bad. Wow. That was four, right? And this is number five. It was just a cat. <laughs> I was like, what, hmm. what vibrated off of there? Okay. So, that's five shots right there. Let me take a look and see where we're at. Wow, we still got another shot. You wanna see shot six? Yep. All right. I'm impressed. Let's see if shot six is the, the drop off though. Because right now we still got plenty of power. No, that's still plenty of power. 440 you're grain. Still, you're still killing. Yeah, you're still killing. Man, oh man. One more? Keep going. Yeah, I was going to say we might as well. We're still good there. Good. All right. 
Still killing it 789. That absolutely is. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop there because of the air. But there you go, 440 grain shot string, seven shots. Holy cow, that's crazy. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, here we are at the 50 yard mark, and we we got uh, some Mr. Hollow Point. Uh, <laughs> they definitely are hard point. 440 grains traveling at um, I'd say almost 1100 feet a second. Puts us at uh, 1,100 foot-pounds for a 440 grain. We did shoot to 1,082, and uh, that was at about 800 feet a second. It puts us over 1,500 foot-pounds. I'm like, 1,500 foot-pounds, 1,000 foot-pounds. I want you guys to think about that. This is production gun right here, putting out that kind of craziness. You're probably noticing something different at the end there. There's two things there. We have the barrel band from Black Arts Design. Excellent work. Uh, David, uh, really appreciate you sending that. That because that barrel band is there, there's a reason we put it on there. When we got the great commie from Donnie, FL, we decided that uh, you know what, we don't want any droop. That's a lot of weight on the end of a 32-inch barrel. So we decided, you know what, let's get a barrel band and uh, Black Arts uh, design. They did not disappoint. Perfect fit. I mean, perfect. And uh, we're going to shoot these 440s at 50 yards and see how they do. And 1,100 foot-pounds. Let's see what kind of groups we get and stuff. And we'll go from there. We'll see what we, see what we got. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Put that hat up a little bit. Let's get squared away here. Well, if that's a deer, Ryan, or that squirrel. He wouldn't be feeling so good. Okay. Look good there. All right. Okay. And I put the hole in there. All right, let's get readjusted here, Ryan. I was like, what just happened there? All right, this gun has such a kick, guys. You really, this is not for the faint of heart. If you're getting an air gun and you want to shoot something and you're like, I want to have the big bad boy, you be prepared. You see, I got this Caldwell Precision Turret here. It's holding it in place. And I'll tell you what, you shoot this off of a bipod, you better have that arm in there. I'm not the biggest guy, but I'm not the smallest either. And I'll tell you what, you shoot this, you know you're shooting something. So I'm not kidding about that. So, all right. So we got that one there, that one there. Yeah, that ripped that target pretty good. Oh, there you go. That's three beautiful shots right there. At 1,100 foot-pounds of energy smashing something. Ridiculous, Ryan. You see this thing? Well, there's a couple things that got to answer for me, okay? Uh, shooting this without the, the commie and the, and the barrel band, you know, what was the accuracy going to do? And that kind of answered the question. It didn't do anything other than the accuracy stayed the same. So for me, that's super accurate. That's 50 yards. All right, let's see what else we can get into. All right, well, I, I know you guys want to see... You definitely want to see a hundred plus. So we got plates down there at a hundred plus. So I'm going to take some shots at those plates and uh, we'll see how we do at a hundred. Cause a lot of you guys might even take a shot at a hundred on a white tail with this. And with that kind of speed and that kind of power, that's that deer is in a lot of trouble. So let's see how she does at a hundred. All right. Oh, dang. How'd I do two for one again? I don't know. It's been a reoccurring theme. Yeah. Well, that tells you right there. Well, I wanted to shoot three plates for you guys, but maybe I'll save one for the Coyote Ryan or something like that. You know what I mean? So. All right. I'd love to smack a red fox with this. Oh, my goodness. What did ever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that hits with authority. <laughs> Those plates just go down. <laughs> Well, that's that's about 110, I think. I think yeah, we're actually sitting 
right around 107, 110, I think there. But I mean, I don't. You got the accuracy. I got one round left, Ryan. Should we give the Coyote one? Yeah, we'll just remind him who's in charge. All right. Remember what happened last time? Yeah. Now that was a thousand eighty-two grain hit that dude at sixty yards. Yeah. And took him off his feet. Yep. And I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Power. All right, Mr. Coyote. Let's give you one. I'm going to go for his throat. I'm Ooh. going to try his throat area. There's a hole in the throat. Hopefully Hold his head. Th yeah, you want me to go for the head? No, go for the throat. I like okay. that. We'll All see right. what happens. All right. Right below the hole, one inch. That's lights out. That's lights out. Mr. Coyote, dirt nap. Unbelievable power for an air gun. Unbelievable, and you can see the accuracy. It doesn't matter if we're shooting, you know, 100. I mean, I, I did some Instagram and Facebook posts. I did one where I was shooting this 200 yards offhand, and I was shooting that coyote. And Ryan and I weren't quite sure what we were seeing, and we were actually, because we were like, is that hitting the ground first? But it's the sound of the round as it's getting down there, smacking that coyote at 200 yards. Okay, here we are at the end of the video with the Zeus. Oh my goodness, you notice I'm sitting down because you got a 12-pound gun with another pound of scope here, a pound of this and of the Kami on there. You got 15 pounds of monster right here. But we had a blast today. You know, when you're shooting air guns, it's all about having fun. It's just a blast to do. And when you get something like this, it's just amazing to see what air guns, how they've evolved. It's, it blows your mind. Terry Fox Air Gunner, thank you so much for sending the Zeus. We really appreciate it. Uh, I'll tell you what, some of the longer shots today with the Zeus and to see that the accuracy stayed there even at, you know, 100 yards, 100 plus yards, it was amazing. It was amazing because I wasn't quite sure about the big board, what it would do, a 72 caliber at that range. I mean, that's pretty amazing to see that kind of accuracy out of it. If you do use this, there's a lot of things, if you do get, use this for hunting, you want to make sure that you, uh, like I said, you want to go with the barrel band you, with the commie if you suppress it. If you don't suppress it, you don't need the barrel band. But if you want it, it's not a bad thing either. Uh, it didn't affect accuracy at all. It stayed, the accuracy stayed exactly the same, but we tested it both ways. So we know that for sure. This is Rick with Shooter1721. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Rick with Shooter1721. You're like, what do you got going on? I got a full deck of cards, and I screwed them into the post. I have the wrapper still on. You can see the gold strip here, so it's a full deck plus a couple of the other cards. I don't know how many is there, 55, 56. But I have the AEA Zeus. You see the hat turned around. Yeah, that's the reason for it. So I'm going to go back, sit in the bench, and see if I can split a deck of cards Shoot Mr. Hollow Point, 1,082 grain slug. Holy cow. I don't know if you'll be able to see me rocking back there, but I'm going to see if I can split a deck of cards. Chris Turret, this one's for you, buddy. That is absolutely mission accomplished, and there's the rain, dirty bugger. But uh, I would say that is the first full deck card split made with an air gun ever. And there they are. The proof is right there. They're all gone, so that means it hit it dead center. AEA Zeus. <laughs> this is just wrong to even talk about. 1,082 grain. Come on, man. <laughs> Woo! This thing's even hard to hit, hold with just one arm. That's pretty exciting. It shredded those cards. Oh, you know what? I gotta clean all this up. Oh, man.